I'm going to start off by prepping my skin. I actually didn't realize that both of these are by Garnier. So one of them is a moisture boosting SPF and the other one is just a regular moisturizer. And that's what I use to prep my skin instead of using a primer. Then I went in with my concealer and I pretty much do the same routine, just concealer and then foundation. And I was just wondering if you guys want to even see these anymore. Let me know. But I went in with my Healthy Mix foundation and my F20, which I showed you guys on Monday. Unfortunately, my foundation kind of separated on my nose, which happened because my moisturizer was too damp when I applied my foundation. But it's okay because we got the magical powder of the L'Oreal True Match. I heard this was going to be discontinued and it nearly broke my heart because this is magic. And don't just use it on areas that you need to, you can apply it all over the face to make it flawless. For the brows, I'm using a new brow kit. I started off by dipping a spoolie into the brow gel and just worked this through. With the other side of the brush, I used the darker shade just to run through my brows to create little fine hairs. I actually really like this palette. And this also is by the same brand and it's an eyeshadow palette. Yes, it does look like that palette. You know the one I'm talking about. <coughs> Urban Decay. So I started off with the nude shade or the naked shade, see what I did there, with a blending brush and just apply this all over the lid and right up into the crease. Then I used the shade Gunmetal, like seriously, how did they get away with doing this? Worked this into the crease. Then I used the shade Toast. You don't have to use Gunmetal, you could have gone straight in with Toast and just applied this all over the lid. It's kind of a very soft smoky eye. On the waterline, I used a black and a white, so white on the bottom, black on the top. Curled the eyelashes and applied a fantastic mascara, which I'm obsessed with. This is so cool. One side's for the lower lashes, amazing. And the other side is for the top lashes. One of my favorite mascaras, I think, ever. Lashes are next, and I always get asked about my lash routine, so I'm gonna talk you guys through it. Usually, you apply glue on the lash band and apply them down. I apply them in the reverse way, working upwards instead, so my natural lash line looks flawless. You only use a very small amount of glue, apply it on the top of the band and push upwards. So not down, but up. Hold the lashes in the center, open your eyes really wide, and then just lightly press the lashes against your upper lashes. And I'm not even gonna edit this so you guys can see how easy this is. So I've just placed it right in the center and just give them a bit of a squeeze. And that's how easy it is to apply. It's so simple. Then apply a little bit of mascara just to set them in place and you're done. Easy peasy. Moving back onto the face, I have a new contour shade that I'm obsessed with. This is by Pixi. <laughs> I went to use the lid, there's no mirror. I use this in the hollow of the cheeks. It's the perfect contour shade. Then the banana shade is great for sharpening it up and you can also then use this around the hairline. But wait for it, wait for it. I have a new highlighter that I'm obsessed with. It's so beautiful. I wish it came in this set, but it comes separately, but it's gorgeous. And you can also use this around your eyes too. I also have a new lipstick. This is by Maybelline. It's a gorgeous matte shade, but I also used a Rimmel nude shade over the top just to neutralize it slightly. For the hair, I just kind of let my hair do its thing. I put a little bit of hairspray in, which I typically just bring in my handbag. My handbag is actually by boohoo.com. I have a couple of things that I like to keep in here. So I've got my lipstick that I'm wearing for the day. I got the L'Oreal True Match, which I also like to use to top up. My perfume, my mascara, and my eyelash curler to top up on the go. And if I don't have a chance to finish off my makeup, I actually bring this palette with me because it's great for traveling along with an F20 because I can use this for everything. But one more thing that I have in my handbag is this. This is a Let's Get Checked testing kit. It's available in Boots and also online. They have lots of different tests to choose from. So whether it's a general health test, cancer screening, it's all done in the comfort of your own home. I actually teamed up with them because I've been neglecting my health recently. I always just say, I just don't have time. You just give them exactly what they're looking for, pack it up, send it back to them in the post, and within a few days you get your results. Now it doesn't matter how busy you are, you're still gonna be able to get yourself tested. Super thank you to them and I thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you on Monday.